Hi, I'm Trevor Bowman from Play Hard Sports and behind me here is the Thor 9 hammer throw cage and today we're going to show you how to assemble the cage ready for use. Here we have the ground sleeve positioned into the ground at a depth of 1400 millimetres. Insert the sleeve spigot into the ground sleeve. Align the hinged spigot pivot holes with the sleeve spigot holes. With two people, slide the base pole inside the hinged spigot. Insert pin and secure. With two people, slide the pole extension into the base pole. Insert the locking pin. Slide the extension arm into place and secure with a nut and bolt. Place the gate arm into position and insert the gate arm pin. Insert gate raise cables through the gate arm pulleys, through the stainless steel pulley, onto the base pole, cleats and tie off. Attach rope D shackle and through pole extension rope pulleys and onto the base pole cleats and tie off. Attach rope onto the extension arm pulleys and through the eye bolts which are on the base pole. Attach the winch cable to the pole cable with a D shackle. Using the supplied hand winch, slowly turn the handle to safely raise the main arm. Insert the two M20 bolts into the angle iron plates and tighten, and then remove the winch cable. Insert the rear pole extension into the rear base pole and secure with eye bolt. Install the cross arm to the pole extension with four bolts and tighten. Feed the rope onto the extension arm and install into the cross arm. Secure with locking bolt. Feed the extension arm ropes through the rope guides on the cross arm and pole extension. Tie the rope to the rope cleats. The winch stand is secured to a ground anchor with a cable. The winch is aligned with the pole for raising. Secure the pole with M20 bolts and tighten. Use D shackles to join the ends of the net rail. Attach the pole raising ropes to the net rail brackets. Note, the net retaining rope is also attached to the same bracket. When all the raising ropes have been attached to the net rails, raise the net in stages. As the net is raised, feed the net retaining ropes through the net every eight squares. Raise the net to the highest level. The gate edge rope is secured to the ground anchor with a quick release carabiner. Other net retaining ropes are tied directly to the ground anchor shackles. This is the net retaining rope. You feed this rope through the net as you're raising the net and it, it ties off at the anchor point on the ground and then provides tension and keeps the net in the correct place. What are the benefits of the Thor cages? The high wind rating allows the net to remain erected in most wind conditions and therefore you don't avoid your warranty. The poles are set back from the net which reduces the likelihood of implement impact. The reduced number of poles provides great vision for the, not only the thrower but also for spectators. The futuristic design attracts attention and notoriety for any venue.